Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Excel TV. Today, we would like to show you how to calculate complex numbers in Excel. If you want to convert real and imaginary coefficients into a complex number, we can make use of the complex function. Type equal to complex, give a real coefficient, for example, 4, comma, followed by the imaginary coefficient, for example, 3. If we ignore the suffix, by default, Excel will return i as the imaginary number. If you want to make use of j, we shouldn't ignore the suffix. We should give the real coefficient, comma, followed by the imaginary coefficient, comma, followed by selecting the respective imaginary number. If you want to have j, select j. Press enter and we should have desired form. Besides, we could also form a complex number by using cell references. Type equal to complex, select the real part, comma, followed by the imaginary part. Press enter and we should obtain the correct complex number. Now let's try to perform some simple calculation. To obtain the imaginary part of a complex number, we can type equal to imaginary and type the complex number, for example, 4 plus 3i. When we press enter and we should realize that we obtained a wrong value, this is because as we can see, when we refer to the formula bar, 3i has turned to be i3, which is simply cell reference. To avoid this from happening, instead of giving a number, we should give a string, which means that we should use the quotation marks. Type quotation 4 plus 3 i and quotation press enter and we should obtain the correct value as we can see here this could also be done by using cell references type the function equal to imaginary and select the cell with the complex number press enter and we should obtain the correct value also for the real coefficient we type equal to i m followed by real select the number and press enter if you notice carefully all the functions related to complex number calculation always start with the largest i m, except for the complex function, which means that if we couldn't remember the function, we just have to type equal to i m and choose the function from this list. If you want to perform absolute calculation for this complex number, we just have to type i m and we choose absolute. As we can see, returns the absolute value. So we choose the first one and we select the complex number and press enter and we should obtain the correct value. And for the argument of a complex number also equal to I am and we can choose argument. Select the number and press enter. We should bear in mind that this is in terms of radians. If we want to obtain in terms of the Degree, we can type equal to degrees and we select the number and this angle will be converted to in terms of degrees as we can see here. To obtain the complex conjugate, we can type equal to I am followed by conjugate. Select the complex number and press enter and we should obtain the correct complex conjugate. To perform calculations that involve at least two complex numbers, we should use exactly the same imaginary number. Cannot be one i, the other j, and this will result in error. Let's check. So if let's say we evolve subtraction for two complex numbers, so we can type equal to i m subtraction, select the first complex number, comma, followed by the second complex number. When we press enter, we obtain Error. This is because one i, the other j. However, if we use exactly the same imaginary number when we press enter and we should obtain the value as we can see here. Now let's try for complex sum. So we have equal to i m followed by sum. Select the first complex number followed by the second complex number. Press enter and we should obtain the correct value. We could also perform product. So we have equal to i m product select the number followed by second number press enter and we should have the correct value if you want to give rise a complex number to an integer power we can make use of i m power select the complex number if you want to take a square of this complex number we put two if you want to take a cube of this number we put three press enter and we should obtain the correct complex number we could also perform division for two complex numbers. For example, we type equal to 
I am divide. Choose the first number, comma, followed by the second number, and press enter. As we can see, we have a lot of decimal places here. If you want to round, we cannot simply put round outside the function and correct to the desired decimal places, for example, 4. So we press enter and we should obtain error. The correct method is we should also involve the real and imaginary function. So we type I am real bracket so we bracket this part then only we run copy and we involve the complex so which means that we join this real part and the imaginary part as complex number change real to imaginary press enter and now we should obtain the rounded values as we can see here there are a few more functions. If you are interested, we can try out. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.